let's continue with the mathematical preliminaries for the theory of computation. And the next screencast, uh, we'll uh, uh, talk about Kalini closures of alphabets, uh, or sets, uh, sets of symbols. Um, so the Kalini closure of an alphabet, which is a finite set of symbol, uh, symbols, is the set of all strings over that uh, alphabet. And uh, typically, mm, the Kalini closure, uh, unless it's the empty alphabet, uh, the Kalini closure of any non-empty alphabet uh, is uh, infinite. So let's say that we have an, a, an alphabet, some sigma, so the Kalini closure is denoted as sigma asterisk, right, in a superscript position. So let's um, do a, a simple example. Right, so let's say that our alphabet is uh, uh, A and B. Then uh, the Kalini closure of this alphabet will be all of the strings beginning with the empty string over uh, sigma. So uh, strings of length 0, uh, all strings over uh, A and B, of A's and B's of length 1, of length 2, um, so B A, right, A B and B A, and then uh, B B, and then all strings of length 3, and so forth. So this is clearly an infinite, um, uh, an infinite set, right? Although the alphabet is finite, consists of only two symbols, A and B, uh, the Kalini closure of that alphabet, um, uh, sigma star, uh, is uh, uh, infinite. Um, let's talk about um, uh, uh, a little bit more about sets. And um, um, so there, there's there's one set, which is called the empty set, and there are two notations that we can use, either that crossed zero, or um, just a, a pair of matching curly braces. Uh, this is called the empty set set of zero elements. So one thing uh, to note is that the empty set is not the same as the set uh, that contains uh, epsilon, right, the empty string. So programmatically, right, as computer scientists or programmers, you can think about this, is that the uh, empty link, an, an empty linked list is not the same as a linked list that contains one empty string. Right? Those two linked lists are not the same. Another thing that um, is very helpful um, is, uh, is known as uh, set former notation. And uh, uh, you probably uh, have seen it uh, if you have been exposed to some uh, discrete mathematics or uh, elements of set theory. So you have curly braces, uh, right, which characterize uh, a set, and then uh, they're separated by a vertical bar. So on the left of that bar is the names of the elements uh, of the set, and on, uh, to the right of that vertical bar is some characteristics. Um, of those elements, right, or description, some form of description that states, okay, well, these are the elements that belong to that set. So here's an example. Um, uh, so let's say that we take x to be uh, in the Kalini closure of uh, this alphabet, a, b, and um, as a, uh, the length of x is less than or equal to 3, right? So it says all of the strings over A uh, and B, right, of A's and B's, including the empty string, such that uh, their length is at most three, at most three symbols. So it says zero, one, two, and three. So here's an ex another example, A to the N, B to the N, right, such that let's say N is greater than or equal to one. So the empty string is not going to be in that set, right? So all of the all the strings uh, with equal numbers of A's and B's, such that A's precede B's. Um, 
so um, let me um, grab some white space on the board okay and continue with this uh, um, uh, these examples so let's call this set s1 and um, this set s2 So, the, uh, can we enumerate the elements in S1? Yes, we can. And we can enumerate, uh, we can use the tree of possibilities, so called tree of incumbent torics, right? Uh, tree um, of possibilities. So, we we'll start with the uh, nothing, then on the first symbol, um, as a choice for the first symbol, we have A and B. And for the second um, symbol, after the first symbol is chosen, we also get A and B for every. Uh, possible choice so we get with this nice complete uh, binary uh, binary tree of height 3 that has 0 1 2 3 3 3 levels right so on the level of 0 we only we, we have nothing so there's a set containing only the empty set so and let's say union uh, on the first level we get a set of two strings a and b Right, these are the strings of this alphabet of length one. Right, so now, so this is uh, this is this uh, level one. Right, on the second level, we get the strings of um, uh, length two. Right, we can read them off the tree. So the first string is A A, the second string is A B, the third string is B A, and then the fourth string is B B. So we get A A A B B A and B B. Okay, and then uh, union, right? So because we uh, have to now add the strings of uh, length three. So that's A A A A A B and so forth. So all of the strings for every path in that tree we get a unique string. So first is A A A, uh, then A A B, uh, a string of length 3, then A B A, A B B, B A A, I B, B A A, B A B, right after this B A B, uh, this is the rightmost, uh, the rightmost branch now. Right, B B A and uh, B B B. Okay. Uh, so how many? Uh, so we have how many strings are there in S one? Uh, well, uh, we have uh, one string of length uh, zero. Then we have two strings A and B of length one. Then we get. Um, four strings of length two. Right, so, so okay, so one thing of length zero, two strings of length one, four strings of length two, um, and um, eight strings of length um, three. So it's uh, seven plus eight, it's 15 strings. So S1 has uh, the cardinality, the number of elements in, in, in S1 is equal to 15. So and it's a nice. It's observed that it's a very nice uh, geometric series. Uh, so how many strings? Two to the zero is the, the number of strings of length uh, zero. Then two to the one is the number of strings of length one. And two to the two is the number of strings of length uh, two. And two to the three is the number of strings of length uh, three. So this is S one. It's a finite set because we uh, we, we we have a, um, a a strict upper bound on the length of the strings in that set. And S2, on the other hand, is an infinite set because uh, n is specified to be um, uh, greater than or equal to 1, uh, so and there are infinitely many uh, natural numbers, right? greater than or equal to 1. So we have AB, AABB, AABBB, and so forth.